shoot. Just remember that I have to go and open a bank account. Bank is not that far from here, I assume. So instead of using car, I prefer to walk. That is where I take most of my time lapses, over there. And you always see this view. I asked my sister whether they need my passport as well. She was 100% sure that there's no need for my passport. And all I need is my residency card. Of course I need my passport. Enjoyed it <clears throat> yesterday's video. One of my friends is actually in Istanbul right now. And he told me, dude, we're about to start our own channel. You can come here, you can help us, we can help you. And it's a very good opportunity to go there and to shoot good vlogs, to shoot good videos. And I think it's gonna be a hell of a journey for itself. After a year of dieting and gym, my body looks like this. I used to be fat. A year ago, I was fat. But one week, I just left my diet and look at my belly. This is the belly that I've got. It used to be like this, solid flat. But it's like this. And that's not fair. And that's how you can make some balance between your mental state and your physical state. Like everything is good up here because you're eating healthy and everything is good down here because you're trying to work out and stay healthy. So don't forget, eat whatever you like, but work out. It's, it's the best investment in your life, doing at least one hour every day, running, jogging, or weightlifting, whatever it is for yourself, not others, for yourself and your health. There are two simple abilities in the world that you can turn them into superpower. The first one is the ability to observing and monitoring, and the second one is the ability to not comparing yourself to others. Let me explain. The first one, the ability of observing or monitoring is, is gonna give you this power to know where you started everything and where you are right now. Time passed, what was those peak that you can tell you had success or you had failure, you got your lesson, and you're moving forward. You have to just constantly observe yourself, monitor yourself. The second one, the ability not comparing yourself to others. For instance, I'm 27 and I started YouTube this year and I'm just trying so hard to figure out how to do it in a perfect way, but I should not compare myself to the greatest of all time. The reason is that if I do that, it's not just one parameter thing that I say, all right, I, I started this topic I'm doing it okay, but I'm not getting enough followers or subscribers. It's a multi-parameter equation. The time that people started eight years ago, nine years ago, 10 years ago, things were different back then and it is different right now. So I should not compare myself, but I should constantly observe others and monitor myself. So it's a double standard. These superpowers can become your enemies as well. But if you constantly compare yourself, you can just give yourself this feedback that you are not good enough. You're gonna become a quitter after a very small time. And if you do not monitor yourself, you're gonna get lost. Monitoring yourself is much more important than not comparing yourself. Even if you compare yourself, you have to constantly monitor yourself, observe yourself, try to evaluate your own personal values to know where you are. In any stage of your life, that's gonna be your biggest superpower.